Well, now let's head to the French Riviera, where the Cannes Film Festival is well underway. Our reporter Flo Villeneuve is there, and we can speak to her now. Flo, tell us uh, what's happening on the red carpet today. Well, Nadia, there's a rare moment of calm on the red carpet in what will otherwise be a very busy day. Three films from the official competition. First off, Red Rocket by the American director Sean Baker. It's about a washed up porn star who returns to his hometown in Texas, even though no one really wants him there. Now, I'm about to go see the movie. I'll be able to tell you more about it right afterwards. But from what I've seen, it looks pretty hilarious. Let's take a look at a clip. I don't want to be here, all right? This is embarrassing. Well, I don't want you, you think here I want to either. show up like this? I got my ass f***ing kicked. I just need a place to crash. Why can't you well, be you're not just like... What does it look like, a hotel? Really? It's like that? Can you get off the property, please? Why? What, 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 what are you going to f***ing do? Really? What, you're you gonna, want, gonna, oh, you really, want me to call the cops? Act... I'll call the cops. Don't, don't no, I'm calling the cops. Ten, oh. nine, eight, God. seven, faster. I'm technically off the property, so you can't call the cops because I'm on public land respecting your boundaries. Can you keep it down? Can you come over here so I don't have to project my voice, please? A clip of uh, Red Rocket uh, for you there. Well, a bit later on today, uh, there's the red carpet premiere of a movie by a Hungarian director starring the French actress Lea Sedu, who has four films at Cannes this year. Flo, tell us more. Well, unfortunately, she tested positive for COVID uh, despite being vaccinated. So, so far, she hasn't been able to attend uh, the red carpet events. For instance, she was supposed to go up the red carpet with Wes Anderson on Monday with, with his film, The French Dispatch. She's waiting for instructions from her, her doctor. Hopefully, she'll be able to attend some of the ceremonies later. She stars in this uh, film wife. by the Hungarian director Ildko uh, Enyedi uh, alongside Louis Garel and Luna Welder. Uh, it's called Story of My Wife. Uh, it's actually based on a novel uh, with the same name from 1942. It's essentially a variation of the legend of the Flying Dutchman. It's set in the 1920s, and it's about a sea captain who makes a bet in a cafe that he'll marry the very next woman who walks in the door. And, well, I'll tell you more about it once I've seen it as well. All right, lots for you to look forward, forward to, Flo. Finally, um, the French director Jacques Audiard's latest and highly anticipated opus, Olympiads. Tell us about it. Well, he already won the top prize here, the Palme d'Or, that was in 2015 with his film Deepan. So people are really paying close attention to his latest film, Olympiad. It's about three girls and a boy. They're friends, sometimes lovers, often both. And what's interesting about this film is it's completely filmed in black and white. Now, Jacques Audiard often teams up with a mix of rising stars as well as well seasoned talents, uh, both in front of the camera and behind the camera. Uh, for instance, uh, he wrote this script, Les Olympiades, uh, with two female authors, including Céline Tiama. You might be familiar with her. She's a very uh, famous French director. She uh, had a film in Cannes in 2019 called Portrait of a Young, Fa uh, Long Young Lady on Fire, which won Best Screenplay. And so she co-wrote this film with Jacques Audiard already getting a lot of buzz. A lot of people say he could perhaps once again win the top prize here at the Palme d'Or. All right, Flo, uh, enjoy those movies today. Uh, and enjoy